Question number 12. Table 2 shows the information related to the price, price index and weightages of 4 materials used in making a type of shoes. Okay, so they give you all this data here. Find the value of X and Y. So X and Y is these two. So to find that, first of all, this is what? This is the price index. This will be the price per unit. Okay, and this is the weightage, okay? So you want to find X. So X and Y is basically the price index formula, correct? We're going to use the price index formula. So let's find X first. Huh? So we know that X over 13 will be equals to 100 uh, times 100% will give you 120. Okay, so if you want to find X, you take 120 divide by 100 times 13. Okay, so you get your answer. Next, you want to find Y. So Y is, mm, let's see, 8.75 over 7 times 100 will give you the Y. So from here, we can find both. Lah. Okay, so your X value, you should get RM 15.60. Okay, and the Y value, you should get 125. So let me write here, 125, and this will be 15.60. Okay. Done. Question A. Question B. Given the composite index for the cost of making the shoe in the year 2022 based on the year 2021 is 135. So this is the composite index. Okay. But this composite index is 2022 based on 2021. Okay. Find the value of P. So all is P. So basically they want you to use the composite index formula. Okay. So we're going to do that. We have got the composite index. So we know that composite index is what? 120 times 2 plus 145 times P plus 140 times 2P plus Y is 125, right? So 125 times 3 divided by all this all the weightage plus together so 2 plus p plus 2p plus 3 will give you the answer 135 okay so you just have to rearrange this so when you combine this 100 240 plus this you should get 615 plus now this one here got p here also got p so you combine them you should get 425p okay now this one here when you combine you should get 5 plus 3p but this 5 plus 3p i'm going to bring it on top to multiply with the 135 so i should get 675 plus 405p okay now i don't have any space here so let me write up here so 425 minus 405 I will get 20 so 20 P equals to 675 minus 615 I should get 60 so P is equals to 3 okay so you've already found the value of P next question B2 given the selling price of the pair of shoe in 2023 so now there's a new year involved 2023 all this while we're solving for 2021 and 2022 now you got 2023 there. Okay, they give you the selling price. The price of all material increased by 25% from 2022 to 2023. So what does this mean? That means you know the composite index okay, of the price uh, from 2022 to 2023. So that means this composite index equals to 125 or 125. Because 25% increase, so it's 125. If the company gets a profit of 20%, so it's counting profit now. Find the cost price. You know what? We forget about that first. We draw the smiley. So remember, we have the... Normally when they ask this kind of question, you should know that you have to combine a few composite, composite index already. So remember this smiley, okay? The smiley is like this. We have the composite index. This 135 here is the composite index from... 2022 based on 2021 right so that means 2021 okay i'm going to draw here 
135 okay and then here they gave you another one they said that the composite index is 125 right increased by 25 percent from 2022 to 2023 so 2022 go to 2023 is how many one two five okay so we always remember this smiley here is the two eyes and here is the mouth okay this is the mouth to find the the, the mouth here the smile here you have to take these two multiply together and then divide by 100 okay just remember this formula take the two eyes multiply together divide by 100 you get the smile down here okay why do we want to get the smile though because the smile here represents the composite index of 2023 based on 2021 now this composite index we can use this composite index and use the price index formula which is q2023 over q2021 times 100 why do we need to use the price index formula because you have the selling price of 2023 so that means you have this value and you can find the selling price of q2021 you can find the selling price of 2021 when you find the selling price of 2021 only then you can find the cost price of 2021 right because you know the profit is 20 percent so we are just reversing the whole process here okay we are reversing the whole process so the first step is we want to find the composite first the composite index of 2023 based on 2021 okay so how we do that take the two eyes multiply divide by 100 okay that's how you get the smile down there so once we get the smile we can use the comp the price index formula okay by substituting this q2023 because it's given to you here the selling price to find the q2021 okay so the q2021 will represent the selling price because here we use selling price right so the q2021 will also be selling price so since they told you 20 percent profit by using the selling price you can find the cost price okay i hope my explanation here you can understand lah. okay this is a simpler way lah. so i'm going to do that so first step we find the composite index first. Composite index 2023 based on 2021. What? How we do? We take the two eyes. So the eyes is what? 1, 3, 5. The two eyes multiply. So 1, 3, 5 times 25% increase. So 1, 2, 5. Divide by 100. Okay. So when you divide by 100, you get 1, 6, 8. 0.75 okay now you've already found the composite index right now you're going to use the composite index but you're going to use the price index formula so this one which is 168.75 equals to because this is 2023 based on 2021 right so up here will be the price of 2023 over the price of 2021 times 100 okay we have this value this value is what is given here 162 the selling price right so we don't have to write this we write 162 okay so from here we can find the q2021 which is 162 times 100 divided by i'm just rearranging the equation huh? okay so you will get your answer 96 so what is this 96? This 96 is RM. This is the selling price. So how to find the cost price? Well, we know that you take the cost price. We take cost times the increase, the profit, right? Profit is 20%. So that means you're paying 20% extra. So that means it's 120 over 100, right? Or I can write 1.2 lah. Times 1.2 equals to the selling price so if you want to find the selling price you take uh, you want to find the cost price you take the selling price divide by 1.2 so that's what we're going to do cost price equals to 
the selling price is 96 divided by 1.2 so answer is RM80 so this is your answer